was probably there's probably warning signs but there's so many kids in that kind of situation that nobody pays much attention to it and thank goodness it's not the norm I mean you know kids doing something like that certainly not normal and doesn't happen every day so I you know was, it, was this more of a, a plan or a spur of the moment thing, do you think? This, as far as the little is concerned, the, uh, it was a crime of opportunity. I think it just all came right together there at the uh, rest area. They saw the van and the, the people who wanted to kill somebody, that was their intention. I think they saw that as being the antithesis of, of their belief. These are the perfect victims for us because they're religious and we're anti-religious and so I think that that aspect of it contributed to it sure uh, that's it's hard to believe you know that but it all came together right there just just perfect I mean all the little it's had to do was be 10 minutes uh, earlier 10 minutes later or go on by and they wouldn't have been victims, and who knows who else might have been, but they wouldn't have been. But to me, I think they saw that as being the perfect victims for them. Plus, they get this big van, <laughs> you know, to drive it. It's strange how they, people get together and convince themselves of things. You know, and I think in this case, uh, Natasha Cornett uh, does uh, deserve the title leader. She was the leader of that pack, and without her, I doubt any of that would happen.